Hello and welcome to another match in the Prosperity Mix Tournament. I I think I've gone over the uh, setup for this in some of my other videos and I'll put something in the description as well, so this time I'll just skip over that. Um, <clears throat> playing against Warfrat, Warfrat's a really good player and definitely favored in this match, but Maybe I can pull off the upset. So we have ghost for or ghost goat for trashing. We have page, which is pretty important because there's also goons. Three card hands are no fun. I would prefer to have a five card hand. Um, I think the the question is, do you get Ocean. I think the answer is yes, but maybe not. Maybe not in the opening. Well, almost certainly not in the opening because you're not likely to be able to buy an alchemist anyway. Yeah, I think it's just Magpie Page. Counterfeit, probably the first five. Yeah, that's what Warfrat does, so that makes sense. It's a pretty nice draw. I might get the potion here. There's also Salt the Earth. That's something I need to pay attention to for the late game, for sure. Goons potentially makes it less relevant, though. <clears throat> At least in the sense that you don't necessarily need to buy a lot of green. Yeah, so he also gets the potion. Pretty mirror -y so far. Mm. A little annoying that Magpie is going to trigger the shuffle without Treasure Hunter in it. Does it make sense to not play the magpie? Hmm. So if I don't play magpie, I don't have anything to trash with goat if I want to counterfeit copper. Or if I buy a second counterfeit. <clears throat> There's also the question of whether I would rather play the treasure hunter before triggering the shuffle. I um, guess it depends on what I want to buy. So counterfeit plus goat is four coins, which I guess would either be another page or more likely another magpie. <clears throat> so... I mean, if I hit six, I probably would go ahead and get a goons. Hmm. It does slow down the rate at which my traveler cycles even a little bit more, though. Yeah, I don't think... I mean, how would I end up hitting six if I... Drew copper or something. Mm. I mean, I think I'm okay with not hitting six. So I think that. Oh, was I failing to account for the treasure hunter coin? I think I am going to hit six. Actually. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, I will go ahead and get a goons. And I should have enough for Alchemist here. So now we've got a little bit of divergence in the decks.
got another magpie, that's nice. Not super critical, but nice. Sun always top deck, yes. Okay. That is what I want. Wow, he just drew deck and trashed my warrior. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> what? I mean, I know he has the second counterfeit, but still, oh man. That is shocking and appalling. Oh boy, that's probably game losing. I mean, the amount of time it's going to take me to get back through. Mm. Hopefully having a goons in my deck already is going to make up for some of that, but I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'd like to buy King's Court. I can't really. I guess I'm going to get a page. And... I don't really think the second counterfeit is the way to go at this point. Um, I mean, am I going to want... And I could just get two pages, I guess. But I was thinking about getting more magpies, but the magpies will start reproducing now that there's less treasure in the deck. So probably another page. I mean, I could have gotten a pixie too. But... Man. That was aggravating. It is aggravating. I would definitely like to keep the potion. I guess I'll get rid of counterfeit copper. Okay, so I almost drew deck. That is my silver last card. So I can have six, seven in potion, or I can have eight in potion if that doesn't really do anything, so. Could just get a couple of pixies. <clears throat> Seems reasonable. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's all correct. Oh. How many cards do you buy? You just won. So three silvers. What? <laughs> All right. Uh huh. Maybe I do want a second counter. Well, I mean, I'm. Hmm. Mm. I mean, I guess I'm okay with top decking one silver. I just won't play the other treasure hunter. So. That. Crush that. Buy an alchemist. We can buy a king's court. And another pixie, I guess. Please, no trash warrior again. <laughs> I certainly have more goons points. Okay. That didn't hurt too badly. I mean, it kind of did. I might not be able to draw back around in my goons. <sighs> He's going to keep that warrior around, too. So hopefully I can find mine. And Get to hero this turn so that I'm guaranteed to actually be able to hit champion. Ugh. Yeah, he's got two king's courts and an expand. My one king's court. He's going to have a hero ready to go, or a champion, sorry, next turn. Um, he's also got three counterfeits. Definitely falling behind. Uh, well, I mean, I was already behind. Okay, so I can King's Court now, Alchemist. That seems like a good idea. Draw all the cards. I guess I could try to attack, but trashing his stuff isn't really going to be that valuable. The only card I could really hit that would... I mean, I guess hitting his Magpies wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, all right, I'll play a Pixie. Keep that... I guess I might as well. How many cards did he gain? Oh, a lot. Um, one counterfeit. Expand is two. King's Court three. Page four. Hero five. Or sorry, Champion five. Treasure Hunter six. Treasure Hunter 7. Good. God. <laughs> oh, I don't have the trashing to support this. <clears throat> I guess that's why he got these extra counterfeits. But So you could play more Treasure Hunters. But man. <sighs> I 
just not play. I mean, it's never going to get any better. I guess I played the treasure hunter after I shuffle or something. Okay, gained a magpie. Gaining, gaining magpies. I'm down for that. Um. Let's see. Play Pixie. Crash Pixie for plus buy. Probably not at this point. I don't think I'm going to be able to make use of it. Okay, so I can draw one, two, three, four, five. Six. Actually, I can draw all the silver. Wow. Okay, fine. Oh, it's only five silvers. Okay, well, whatever. Crashed a magpie. Okay. I guess I can play this and see what it gives me, but no. I guess I, do I counterfeit goat here? Like when am I ever going to need goat going forward? It's not like he's gonna give me curses. <clears throat> And I could counterfeit potion, but then I don't get to top deck my alchemist, which seems kind of important. Although I may all, I may want to only top deck three if I play goons on me. So okay, so another alchemist, another king's court. Probably just another king's court. And this card, one alchemist and top deck three. And still end up with four alchemists in hand, okay. <laughs> Whoa, what was that turn about? Uh, or see if I can King's Court some payload rather than draw. Could, I could get a hero and get another counterfeit and then try to do the treasure hunter thing. Um. Oh, here we go. Um, let's see. Isles are getting low. If I okay, what are, what's going on here? King's Court second playing a King's Court a second time, and then I played a King's Court. So I'm going to play three actions, then I'm going to play an, one more King's Court. Um, if I could drain the Magpies, well, I'm not going to get enough buys, probably. I'll be able to buy, like, five Pixies. Um... I don't have more goons. Let's see. This is complicated. I think 
I mean, I could hero for like three counterfeits, I guess. Kings Court a third time. More magpie gaining. Or not. Okay. I screw that up. Do I not have another? I think I screwed that up. It's... Dang it. <laughs> yeah, I screwed that up. Crap. Uh... All right, well, I think it's okay. Maybe. So if I do a bunch of counterfeit, counterfeit stuff, including counterfeiting the potion, can I get enough buys? I doubt it. Whatever, I'll trash here, see if I have the coins. So I can get We can get a lot of buys. That's not enough. <laughs> Dang it. Uh... Wait. Why am I not getting two buys from counterfeiting counterfeits? Oh. Okay, I do have enough buys. Okay, wow. <laughs> right, so <laughs> I feel like I I got really lucky there. He had a big dud and I managed to have piles be low enough for pile out. I don't really know. <laughs> I could guess I'm a little surprised that Warfrat didn't have the opportunity to do that earlier considering he had more kings courts and such but all right so another page game and we got spice merchant and temple and bishop i guess uh so Age to be able to play tragic heroes non-terminally and nobles non-terminally is pretty nice. I mean champion, so I, I do I would like one of those. I guess I will open with a page. Um yeah, spice merchant only gives you more economy. Also like to be trashing those estates. Like maybe you pick up a temple later. <clears throat> well, what am I trying to buy on my first shuffle? Like buying tragic hero is a little risky in terms of skipping page. Spice Merchant accelerates it. So I guess I'll take Spice Merchant.
Ah, uh, that could certainly be another page. Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, I could, I could use some more economy at some point. But Treasure Hunter will do some work there. Second Spice Merchant. Interesting. So I can get a third page, or I can get something else. Um, Gladiator doesn't really seem all that relevant. So I think I am just going to get a third page. Spice Merchant missing the shuffle, not really ideal. Now we each have three pages, or three travelers at least. So I can get myself a second Spice Merchant. I mean, Spice Merchant does like the treasure hunter. Um, but man, I would really like to trash my estates. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a temple. Not really a big fan of having to use temple for trashing in general, but only way to do it. Four travelers, <laughs> man. Three silvers, yikes. So, I mean, <clears throat> at this point, I don't know that Another page is very likely to turn into anything useful, but um, I don't really need more silver. I don't really want a gladiator. It's another stop card. I could just buy nothing. I mean, there's no harm in having a page until I add terminal draw, which I don't look to be doing anytime soon. Hmm. Is there any point? I guess, you know, like I said, it doesn't hurt. I guess it makes the warrior attack stronger. Wow, my deck is bigger. I mean, he does have two spice merchants and I took more silvers. It's not super surprising. As we're taking one more silver, get them warriors. All right, now I really don't buy anything. Sucks that I drew the Spice Merchant and the Temple Man. <clears throat> yeah, I guess, I guess this is fine. I mean, there's a risk that this Treasure Hunter can't turn into a warrior, but Treasure Hunter also good for Triumph, so having one around is not a bad thing, although it's not like I need it right now, obviously. Treasure the Silver? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so I could get a Tragic Hero here. That distribution of terminals is pretty distressing. Drew, I had three terminals in my hand that I didn't get to play last turn, and I have no actions in my hand. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should get another Spice Merchant. I think that makes some sense. Me 
he's got his champion. Um, yeah, I can get behind another Spice Merchant. Uh, it would actually be not kind of nice to have coins by here, but, well, how likely am I to draw into a terminal? I'm fairly likely. Oh, oops. <laughs> I forgot. I <laughs> need hero. <laughs> yeah, so that did indeed happen, but so it goes. All right, I think I just buy a Nobles. I mean, once I get the champion online, it's a two-point smithy, you know? And... I think I probably just don't play anything or buy anything here. I could buy a page just for the hell of it, I guess. I mean, having more treasure hunters could work out. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Not again, man. Uh, well, at least I actually managed to win the last game in spite of that nonsense, but oh, man. So what all did he... He trashed a silver, trashed a warrior, trashed a temple, trashed a silver, and discarded my champion. Like, good. My <laughs> grief. Ugh. Triumph? Gained... It's like... Six cards? I could see him not wanting to do that just yet. Because of the debt, but... Oh, he has no buys. Oh, okay, never mind. He must be just doing his exchanges. <clears throat> uh, how many sil That would be a lot of silver. I am not ready to take on that much silver. I gotta get back to my... Stupid champion. Ugh. I trashed the gold too. <laughs> oh. Almost there. <laughs> I have no economy, <laughs> but. But at some point I'll play a treasure hunter and get a whole mess of silvers. Okay. Um, in the meantime... So buy another page. I want to keep the hero or the warrior. Yay, champion. Yeah, what a disaster. Mm. 
<laughs> Stop it. Uh. <laughs> what the this is ridiculous. This is, it's, it's like almost like a nightmare. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the fun thing is I do have two treasure hunters. <laughs> so I can, I can get a really big triumph, but, um, I don't know how much good it's going to do me. <laughs> oh man, I guess I need to just take it now as opposed to buying a page so I can pay off the debt. Oh, man, I do need some draw. This is <laughs> this is so ridiculous. But no, I gotta keep the treasure hunters. <laughs> like, if, of course, if he can play his own treasure hunter, then it gets even bigger. <laughs> See, he, he must have treasure hunters. Oh, the silver pile's gonna run out. Oh, I should have exchanged. No! No, <laughs> no, no, doom, doom. <laughs> okay, I mean, that was, yeah, so this game is, is thoroughly over. That was, that was honestly pretty hilarious. <laughs> I, oh, I forgot to turn off my sound. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I'm just going to lose my warriors to Warfred every time, but that was funny enough that I, I can't be too upset about it. Yeah, I feel like I'm really lucky to have split those first two games rather than be down 2-0, given the way that some of that went. <clears throat> okay, but there's no page on this board, so... There is, however, Spice Merchant and Magpie and Pixie and Expand all making a return. That's exciting. Um, <clears throat> that... Awkward situation where in order to buy Magpie or Spice Merchant, you need to play Curse Gold. And the only way to trash pit up curses is with Expand. Yeah. Or good timing on a Pixie Boon, I guess. So let's see, only village here is Coin of the Realm. Hunting Grounds is a good draw. And Puka. Some extra economy out of training. So getting to dominate shouldn't be too bad. Um, Staying for Puka. Oh, there's also Platinum, so that makes Dominate. Well, I guess there's Dominate and Colony, so there's a lot going on. Only plus buy is Farmer's Market, but there is Expand. Oh, and Spice Merchant. Okay, yeah, there's plenty to do here. Um, I don't know how I feel about opening that big terminal draw card like that. I'd, I think I'd rather either get the Magpies or the Spice Merchant. Um, hmm. I 
think magpie is the way. Say. Oh, there's goat. I didn't even realize that. Well, that makes the curse a lot more palatable. Um, kind of the realm, huh? I think I'm gonna get a pixie. Doesn't necessarily mean I should just take the curses all the time, but cool. Um, yeah, it also means that I don't feel as required to pick up a spice merchant. But what I like, say, a hunting grounds. I mean, yeah, it would. Press Merchant does give me the potential for plus buy. It would be good for picking up Coin of the Realm. Although I might not be able to afford much better than that next turn anyway. Yeah, let's get, get a Hunting Grounds. Hopefully I can be done taking on curses now. Although if I get Flames Gift, super sweet. Uh, that is pretty good. And I mean, the Coin of the Realm doesn't go into my shuffle, but... I discard the Chris Gold? I think so. Is he still got two estates left? Or a curse? In? No, he doesn't have a curse in an estate. He most has one estate. Or what that last card is. Oh, curse gold. All right, what uh, do I have any actions down there? Okay. So I could get an expand. Seems like a pretty nice card to have.
We'll get more magpies. Um, let's see. Expand curse. I could also expand curse gold into regular gold or something. It's kind of a well. Hmm. I mean, what would I want to buy on like four or five? Not much. I'm thinking I just get another coin in the realm. The two coins that I have. Um, I don't think I can really afford to expand Curse Gold into a non treasure, then I just won't have any economy to speak of. Um, Spanning curse gold into gold is like a is isn't like a very strong play. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, let's just do curse into coin. Buy another pixie or take another curse. I think I'm just going to buy a pixie. Not playing it, just not playing as Puka. I guess not. Train the magpies. Yeah, that makes sense. Something I would probably like to do as as well. Um. Hmm. I could also just play Curse Gold by Platinum here. Platinum's pretty good. I don't have any plus buy, but I have Expand that I can turn into Farmer's Market. So... I think I'm okay with that. Platinum's worth more money than training. I wonder if he just grabs the last magpie. Nope. Okay. I get the last magpie. Ah. Uh... It allows me to keep a coin of the realm on the mat, so sure. So that's a lot of stuff. Um,
Let's see. And I can expand copper into farmer's market, I guess. So I actually have enough to dominate right now. It seems kind of premature. Like really, I just wish I had plus buy. Um, like this turn as opposed to other turn. Two coins on the mat. Yeah, maybe I pick up another hunting grounds. Let me solidify my draw. So. I'm going to end up. Oh, no, I'm not. Never mind. There's only two on there. He actually doesn't have the economy to dominate yet, I assume. But obviously he could pick up a platinum. It's like we did split the magpies 5-5. Five, five. But... He can dominate if he wants to, but he doesn't, yeah. Ah, uh, this is a little awkward. I'm gonna have no coins on the mat if I call this other one. I, need, I definitely need to get some more. Question is, do I play the farmer's market or not? Oh, it's just another magpie. I'm an idiot. I could have counted that. I could have left that magpie on top, but no, I'm dumb. Okay, so, I mean, I can expand. Uh, Expand curse into coin five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and take another platinum or another training. I could also just play the farmer's market, get two buys, and take like training point. Well, training coin is like, uh, eh. Yeah, I should have gotten another coin of the realm sooner. Coulda, woulda, coulda. I guess if I'm going to choose, well, lose, I don't want to lose my farmer's market. Like that's actually maybe worse than Getting four points probably is. So I think I'm going to just play it. So I have 13 or 16. Um, 16, I can do like training platinum or, well, I know I need another coin. I guess 
I need another coin and I need more plus buy. Um, but more coin can get me more plus buy through the vehicle of expand. Maybe I don't need the training. I think, yeah, I think I'm more game limited than econ limited. So I should definitely take a coin of the realm. And then do I take another expand? I'm not going to be able to play the other expand this coming turn. So maybe I do take the training now. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, so his source of plus buy now disappears. And he has to rebuy it. It's just a little bit of a tempo loss. He now has four coins on the mat to my one. Yeah, I need to get some more of those. He didn't replace the plus buy. Interesting. Alright, so I can play both the Farmer's Market and the Expand. And it seems like Copper to Coin is probably what I want to do. More of those. Oh, oops, damn it. All right, so I could just go ahead and dominate. Um, I think, so I have two on the mat. I think I have, I've, I played, played two, I called F. And I think I could use one more coin is the point. Um, Maybe I just need to make sure of my draw again, which would suggest coin hunting grounds. Certainly don't need to take the last curse. Oh, we are really close to a three pile. How did I not notice that? Um, really close to a three pile. Holy crap. Um, if I had... There's nothing I could do to make it happen, like in my favor, because I'm down on points. I could empty piles, but yeah, okay. I guess I'm just dominating then, huh? Whew, I'm glad I noticed that. Oh my gosh. I was about to look like a huge fool. Oof. Yeah, so Warfrat has no plus buy right now. He does have two expands. So you can have, so he can gain three things, but he can't gain four things, which would be necessary to catch me on points and pile out. Or is that, no, maybe that's false, because he can play, yeah, that's probably false, I probably just lose. I shouldn't have taken that last coin. Oh. Oh, 
Hello. That was an interesting line that I did not consider. All right. Yeah, I mean, I guess the last point in the realm didn't actually matter, but I was just way uh, missing where that the trajectory of that game was going. Whew. I didn't <laughs> I don't think I missed a game in there. Did he forget he lost the first game because he should have <laughs> won it? <laughs> All right, so it's start. Yeah, Let's see if we can keep the match going. Page again, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Ugh. Now I'm scarred. I had a bad experience. Um. Okay, well, I think I think the opening is page catapult. Just trying to think if there's anything else that might make sense. Um, ultimately, we want to get um, well. There's no plus buy other than like form and pilgrimage stuff, so. You don't build as big. There is the catapult attack, so you want to get the champion. Um, I mean, there can be other plus pi from the boons, but it's only coming up 1 in 12 times. Yeah, I mean, I think the catapult page thing is still good. Oh, there's pouch. Okay, never mind. And built a double potentially. So I go double catapult or that. Um, maybe I just get another page here. Hmm. Oh, five. No fair. Unreasonable. Huh, is that better than stables? I guess it is. All right, so how much do I care about hand size attacks right now? Well, I want to get a potion, so I'm going to say not that much. Oh, 
It is gonna be hard to buy Alchemist when I get hit by Catapult. It looks like his Catapult miss, so I guess I can't complain too much about him hitting five. Um, all right, so do I get another Catapult now? Hmm. Pilgrimage could actually be good here because you can use that to gain Alchemists. Not that I'm going to buy that right now, I don't think. I, mean, I don't even have an Alchemist, but... Um, I think it's better to just try to find the one Catapult. I'm surely going to get Catapulted this turn. I can't... Yeah, I can't buy um What do I do? Buy discard potion pouch. Well, I guess I could No, not but not with not once I've discarded. Yeah. So, I think yeah, potion pouch discard and I just don't hand size attack him again. Like the hand size attacks are going to do more as the game progresses. Well, that's not exactly true, because obviously at some point you get championed, but... Ooh. Yeah, maybe foreign is better right now, if only because you're trying to trash your coins with stables anyway. I guess I could also get a crown. Um, but stables does actually increase your hand size. Yeah, I think I'm going to get the stables. This card's in the state. Oh, nice. That's fantastic. Now hopefully I can see my warrior before it triggers a shuffle. No. But I can buy an alchemist, and that's good. And I have a lot of pages. All right, I don't. Um, really care about playing this treasure hunter urgently. I guess I can keep potions speculatively. It's not like there's anything else I really care about buying at price points below that anyway. Nope. Be nice if I had the pouch. Get pilgrimage. This is definitely too much silver, but I do want um, want those warriors. All right, I think it's either form catapult or stables. I like form catapult. Oh, you got a tracker. That's potentially a really good boon. 
guess not. So I do have a 1 in 8 chance of drawing my hero dead, which would be a really sad thing to do if I play this warrior. Given that I don't need to upgrade the warrior, it seems like maybe that's not a thing to do. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just going to take a pilgrimage. I can't play two catapults. Um, I guess I could take the pilgrimage now. I mean, it gets me an alchemist in a forum. I don't really need a third catapult, but um, I could also take a tracker. I mean, I do want another alchemist for sure. Um, do I want a third catapult? I don't want another silver. I think I just don't. Um, and... Feel great about the tracker right now, but well, I don't, I don't think so. Okay, well, I'm just gonna not play the stables or the warrior, I guess, and uh, get my champion and get an alchem another alchemist. So what am I going to have here? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two buys. So I could buy another pilgrimage, but then I don't really get anything else useful out of it. Hmm. What does autoplay chargers even do when you have a crown? Um, and I could guess I could I guess I could get a tracker. Like my draw is going to be pretty good once I get the champion down. All right, got the champion. So does Warfrat. <sighs> I guess. So, pilgrimage not very good here.
do... I mean, I could do a bank, but eh, I don't really think it's necessary. I mean, I guess having one bank wouldn't be too bad. It'll help solidify getting to double province. Which is the goal. Definitely looks like Warf Rat's drying deck before I am, though. <clears throat> Good news, I guess, is I've, I'm ready to pilgrimage again. So I can do a little bit of catch up on uh, having good cards in my deck that way. At one point, it is going to be correct to take those battlefield points. One's a hero. Interesting. Oh. But I see that. Um... I guess a state, a state pouch? Like how likely am I gonna be to making use of plus buy, or do like foreign pilgrimage or something? Right. Probably crown tracker. No. <laughs> um So I can just do Forum Province if I want to get started on greening. I don't get to do a pilgrimage. Yeah, I was wrong about discarding the pouch, that's for sure. Discarded a silver. Hmm. Well, certainly I'm going to do Forum. Here, I'll top deck it. Um, and all right, so on Alchemist, one crown, and we want. Possibly, possibly another tracker. I mean, my draw is pretty good at this point. Um, like, relative to taking the stables.
but now I think right top deck alchemist top deck crown top deck stables top deck a whole bunch of alchemists That doesn't look like a big points turn. I mean, he gets the last two alchemists, but I'm okay with this. I think I'm going to get to... I mean, I did go first, so getting the green first isn't necessarily a huge deal, but I mean, how is he getting to... Well, he does have a hero. Still. Okay, time to start playing these forms, I guess. Let's discard the state. And teleport. Old tracker, I guess. Um, can I actually draw all of this stuff up? Not sure. <laughs> um, my hands. I guess I turn forums into cards that are not forum by playing the forum. And then, oh, but I'm still like off by a card. I mean, I guess I can, it's fine. I can crown, let's see, 10, 11. Oh, I have the bank, right? So the bank will be enough for me to hit double province. I want to crown tracker. I don't really need to crown other treasures, so I can potentially crown the stables if I need to. Um, so let's do this. Do I, did I ever trash my other catapult? No, so the other card is a catapult. Okay. Um, let's crown tracker now. Yeah, there we go. All right, so catapult in the state, catapult, hopper, uh, oh, I can crown the pouch, that's right. So I'll play the treasures to make sure the bank is doing well and buy three provinces. Sounds pretty good. No, I, I will not top deck the province. Thank you. I could buy another alchemist. I would, but I guess I could actually buy an estate. Um, just to take the battlefield points. I think that's actually good. Oh, I also must have... Yeah, I got the forest gifts from the tracker and I didn't even notice. 
but crowning bank wouldn't have would have given me three buys and too much to spend on it i mean i guess i could have bought more forums but whatever he, now warfrat does have a bank and he does have crowns so he could potentially get something similar going um but i can't see how he can do better than triple province because i just took the forest gift And even in triple provincing, he doesn't get all the battlefield points. So. Feel pretty good about the situation. I mean, I guess he can hope for a dud. <clears throat> I mean, he knows I can't quad province, so <coughs> it is in some sense. Oh man, that water went down the wrong way. <coughs> it is in some sense safe for him, you know, if he leaves four provinces. But like realistically, I buy a couple more provinces, and then you know, what do you do at that point? So. Okay, so he does go ahead and at least pick up two. Forms are good. Sadly, there's no way I'll have enough bias to three pile. Mm. Right. Let's play some alchemist. Now, can I afford to crown an alchemist? What did I crown last time? I crowned pouch and I crowned tracker. I did not need to crown um i don't i don't need to crown tracker this turn i just need to crown pouch so crowning my draw seems like a good idea um yeah although i could also play forum now because i've got a catapult and an estate in hand which are both discardable well provinces are discardable too All right, where are we now? Um, a ways away. I guess I might as well see what my tracker boon is. <gasps> well, that's not very useful. Um, okay, so do I crown warrior? I could also potentially actually discard the staples. So um, let's play four. Um, so right now I have, well, I need to find my bank. Um, and I, I need to find my bank and my crown, other crown. Well, I guess I don't need I mean, if I buy two provinces, like, I'm still in really good shape, so. I do, I do have another stables in there. Um, I 
discarding it. I mean, maybe, can I discard a silver and still hit triple? I mean, it's only, it's three coins. I was three coins over, but then again, I'm not playing catapults yet. I might whiff by like a little bit, but if I double, I mean, it's still like, so let's just discard catapult silver, I guess. And warrior. All right, well, now I've got two stables. Um, warrior, play warrior. All right, I'm, I think I'm, let's see, play forum. Yeah, just, so discard estate catapult. All right, do I have it now? Um, well, I can crown the bank, so surely I do. I mean, I guess I can play stables discarding potion, but. All right, crown. Oh, dang it. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, so another game five. And I went. F no, I went second. No, I, I must have gone. Oh, he must have already re uh, set the order, player order. Yeah, I went. I definitely went first. So there's a pretty big advantage on that board, as it turns out. All right, so I think this is the third board that's had crown on it as well. Second board for goons, third board for spice merchant, second board for farmer's market, second at least board for catapult. Yeah, just second. Second board for pilgrimage and dominate. Like, oh my gosh, so many repeats. I have a tough time choosing the thumbnail, uh, but it's gotta be warrior. That was just like too salient. Um, okay, so. What am I doing here? Um, so your only way to play multiple goons is to crown stables, which I guess isn't that bad. Um, that's that's what you want to be doing. That um, dominate and goons are are anti synergistic, but dominate so many points that probably doesn't matter. Um, you still want to play goons because of the attack, if nothing else. Um, but maybe you don't need to play multiple goons if you're going for dominate. Hmm. Anyway. I mean, so we could just do Spice Merchant Catapult and get our trashing on big time. Um... I don't like that. I'm gonna need to pick up a, at least a couple silvers at some point, but that's fine. I maintain that the time to catapult trash estates is right at the beginning actually do i want to keep an estate speaking of that what i what am i going to buy this turn anyway i draw well there's a the chances two of those seven cards are not copper so if i oh yeah if i trash copper draw two cards you know i mean i could potentially buy a silver basin nah, i don't care i think i want to try to trash an estate. Um, okay. Well, as it turns out, it wouldn't have mattered. But if I had two coppers, 
instead of one. This hand is looking silvery. So basically Wharf Rat got to buy two silvers and I only got to buy one. I did increase the chances I wouldn't get to buy two silvers, but. Also, he got to attack during the shuffle and I got to attack after the shuffle, which whether that's how big of a problem that is, I don't know. Um, uh, let's see. If I, I mean, I could discard Spice Merchant Copper. Um, I could discard Silver Copper if I wanted to just draw and then have a chance to trash an estate. Hmm. I discard Spice Merchant Copper. I'm just buying another Silver. I'm pretty unlikely to be able to do next turn because I have three estates in those six cards, unless I draw in through some of them with Spice Merchant. Hmm. Couldn't these have been more spread out? I mean, I guess there's two ways to look at it. One is that next hand is going to be so bad, I better put another silver into my deck. Another way is. The next hand is going to be so bad, I better draw some cards so that it is less bad and so that some of them miss the shuffle. Actually, the miss the shuffle part is pretty pretty notable. Okay, I think I discard Catapult Copper given that. I think. It's a tough call. Yeah, so now we have two estates missing the shuffle, so that's nice. Oh man, hit five. I mean, I guess that's what happens when I don't deck him with the catapult. This is an awkward hand. Oh man. <laughs> I guess I could just discard Spice Merchant to State. Yeah. It's the best plan. And buy more silver, yay. A, a catapult me in his, no, he's not. Oh. Okay. Well, that's six. That sounds like, let's go ahead and trash an estate and buy a goons. I mean, maybe I should have bought a stables, but Pilgrimage for silver, always a good time. Um, I think I want to attack. Seems like he didn't enjoy it.
Well, this is not a shuffle that I want to trigger, so I guess I just don't play the Spice Merchant. Definitely need to pick up a Stables. Crown would be good too. Probably Stables first. Just stables. All right, I'm assuming I'm going to get attacked here. But I can still have a reasonable turn. Oh. Rip Spice Merchant. He, oh, he doesn't have his pilgrimage token okay, set up, because this would be a great pilgrimage, but... So what to do here, assuming I get attacked, which seems pretty safe. I'm thinking this card, Spice Merchant, Silver, Fire the Catapult, but well. My stables is in those last two cards. An argument for keeping the spice merchant and drawing. Um, yeah, I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm uh, falling behind here for sure. Crypt. Interesting. I guess you don't have to set aside the crowns. Ugh. That wasn't really what I wanted.
Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to come back on this one. Seems to have snowballed away from me. Probably should have taken stables over goons on my first, on that when I hit six, but um, I also think, I think it's a combination of not prioritizing the draw and um, being second player. He's really driving the crowns hard too. Really know what that crypt is doing. I mean, I guess you can set dude crowns aside. I think you would want those. But what do I know? Is he going to keep flinging silver at me? Wait, why did he not put his silver? He did play a silver. Weird that he didn't put that in the crypt. I mean, I guess crypting crowns gives him some reliability. Whereas crypting silver, like, means that you have to choose which one you want. Oh, he doesn't have any silver. Okay, I don't really get buying copper other than just for points. Because, like, you know, attack-wise, you don't care about flinging copper from the catapult if you're already attacking with goons anyway. So second crypt, I assume the idea is to like have alternating crypts that are like putting crowns away. I, I it's a little confusing. Um, oh god! I just pilgrimage this. I think I do. Man, starting with a uh, three-card hand with stables is rough. Probably part of the reason he wants the crypts. Yeah, I really don't get that. I mean... Other than just like it's worth a point, but two points maybe he had probably had both goons in play. Doesn't seem worth the uh risk of dudding. I mean maybe he has few enough stop cards that there what isn't a risk. But I don't know. He's got enough of a lead. I just don't really see the how that is like helping all that much. Just flinging silvers at me is fantastic. I guess if you're gonna go that route, ideally you'd like get through the catapults. I mean, you might as well be. That point because the goons are doing the hand size stack anyway, and then you get to rocks, and then you can like do it more efficiently. You don't have to spend buys on it. Anyway, I don't know why I'm trying to optimize my opponent's play. Dang it. I want to find my other stables. Oh, I need that last crown, I guess. This uh 
situation is not good. Not good. I don't think there's a way I sneak this out. Like maybe I should just resign. I'm trying to think what it would look like for me to sneak out a win. I mean, mostly I think it would involve, oh, he wants the copper to discard the stables, of course. I'm dumb. I mean, you can discard the crowns, but when you're starting from a three card hand, you probably want to keep crown. <sighs> this is an unreasonably difficult decision for something that probably doesn't matter. <sighs> I think I'm just going to resign. I think this doesn't seem winnable. <sighs> well, yeah, definitely a couple of games that snowballed away from me in this match. Um, fortunately, I won one of them. <laughs> so that being the first game. Uh, but I don't, I mean, I don't think it was entirely due to poor play on my part. I certainly think that, that I made a mistake in getting the goons over the, the stables on the first buy, but I think I was already losing, like, notably by that point. Um, yeah, uh, it's been a long time since I've had a page game in which my warrior got trashed and today I had that happen twice. So that's cool. I mean the second time it was it was it was more predictable insofar as he uh Warfrat was at the point where he was playing tons of travelers and the the warrior got to see a lot of cards. The first time though I mean I won the game, so I can't really complain about it, but like man, that uh Makes me not want to see Paige for a while. <laughs> anyway, um, so that I am out of the tournament. Um, take a look, quick look at the bracket. So this is where we are. Um, the, I mean, the bracket is like really tough at this point. Uh, I would, I would say, I'm against Ospond. I might not have been the underdog. I definitely would have been against Amafet. And then they've got to go up against Marcus, whoever wins that again, them and between them and Warfrats. Like this bracket is is just absolutely insane. <laughs> so I mean, I didn't actually play that many matches, um, partially because I got a round one by, um, but although a lot of people got a round one by, but uh, I mean, I think I got about as far as I would have been expected to, not just in terms of like which matches I was favored in, but just in terms of like the density of good players at this point in the bracket. So I'm, I'm okay with my performance. Anyway, that'll do it for now. And I'll see you next time for, I guess, uh, Dominion League. Till then.